Morning everybody. This is take two for the morning fishing report. I, I fished with Don this morning, Don Birdie, and we just filmed one. We just filmed the morning report out on the lake and my phone, just as we were signing off and getting ready to do, to finish it up, my phone said that it, the storage was full. And so it stopped. <clears throat> I cleared up the storage and it deleted what we did out there so i'll do an abbreviated one real quick uh, we had a lot of fun this morning had a nice nice morning we left the dock at don's house at, at right at 5 a.m it was still dark we got out there within five or ten minutes and we were fishing he had his first he had two walleyes in the first four casts um one short came in first then a keeper then he got another keeper and then he missed one, or then he got a perch before I even got going. I, had, I was just getting cameras set up. And so that first hour and our first drift, so we left the dock at five. It was about, it was in, my truck said 72, hot and humid this morning. Uh, water temps in the high 70s. We had a very light, it, it, it oscillated from northeast to east to southeast. But first thing this morning, it was just blowing zero to five uh, from the northeast. And we made one first long drift, and we tuned them up pretty good on that first drift. Uh, we had we had 11 or 12 walleyes, five keepers, a couple perch, a couple sunfish. Uh, I got my biggest, my biggest fish of the season this morning on Homie the Clown. It was 23 inches, give or take. Uh, big stud of a fish. I don't have a picture of it because I'm trying to hold it and do all this. It wiggled out of my hands and I went oh, like this and over the side it went, which is fine. I got some video of it. Um, man, did he, he just dogged hard. I mean, that Douglas was right, that Douglas X Matrix rod just handled him beautifully. What a gorgeous fish. He was probably pushing five pounds. So I'm a little bummed out that, because Don and I had a really good morning report and we had, we, it, it, it deleted it nothing I can say and it was incomplete anyway but so I'm not gonna do this one justice but everything him and I did this morning were on I won blade baits he was fishing a gold blade with that pearl silver crushed ice tape on it with with black um, sharpie marker lines on it and he started he started off right off the bat with it I fished homie exclusively until we stopped catching fish and my so homie for those of you that don't know is a standard black blade with a gold tape on it and then i put a red kill dot and two little black dots behind it going to the tail and this particular red kill dot is a little stick on half a sequin bead which they're sticking i mean there's been a lot i don't know how many fish have been on it now but there's been a plenty and it still sticks and they like it uh, so that's that's something I will do more of with with different different blades, uh, different. I've I've got different colors of those of those stick on sequin dots. So, but that's another story. Had a great morning this morning. It was a lot of fun. We were fishing right there, just west of 133. There was only one other boat in the drift. It was quiet, peaceful. We had all kinds of bird life around us. We watched an osprey come down and take a fish off the surface saw two or three other ones, saw a big bald eagle, had tons of turns around us, there's always seagulls, um, had swallows out there, we had fish on the surface, had one right next to the boat, looked like a bass, taking something off the surface, did see a few mayfly uh, spent casings this morning, didn't see any, any, any spinners, but we did see, we, we did see a few, and I saw a few yesterday out at 1.30, a few spent nymph casing so you know there's still I, I don't know maybe maybe those bugs hatch until the water gets too cold i don't know but not not any massive hatch or anything so uh, great morning great morning big shout out to my wife courtney made us some delicious banana bread last night for uh for fishing this morning paul delama coffee's always in my mug um so that's always fun I had great conversation talked about the universe and and how we commune and communicate with it and, and vice versa. So always fun fishing with my buddy Don. We have a great time. And this morning, boy, we really, that first drift, if we could have bottled that, 
man, that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. That first drift was on, on. And uh, the second drift, we got a couple, but that it was not like the first drift. And maybe that was just time of day. Maybe that was just, they were on first light, which makes sense. And we were on them. And so it, you know, the perfect storm collided together because we did switch up baits on the end of that second drift. And him and I both went and started throwing a jig and wrap. We never did get bit on a jig and wrap. We fished it kind of half-heartedly and we didn't have much time left. And then we got in shallow in the weeds at the end of that second drift. And we did throw spinners and whatnot around, but we didn't get bit on those either. But again, we, it was kind of abbreviated and we were getting ready to go. So thanks everybody. It's Thursday. The weekend's in sight. Have a great Thursday. Great, great Thursday. It's always Thursdays are fun days because you know the weekend's right around the corner. You're, you're getting through work today. Make sure everything's positive. Be positive. Expect positive back. You're going to get it back. Give it out. You're going to get it back. So thanks everybody for sticking around. Thanks for watching the daily report. I love all you guys. And remember, t-shirts, videos, have a great day. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>